Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 206. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 203 to 210. Hey, here we have a little data set, and we have account type sales, and we need to calculate commission based on these values here. Now, we have done something similar in other videos. I have some links and notes above for uh, those videos, except for in those videos, we the commission was based on uh, numbers and greater than, less than, all that kind of stuff. Here, it's, it's based on the amount of rate we're going to charge is based on an account type. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the VLOOKUP function. Ready? Equals VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. Now, what does the VLOOKUP function do? Well, it takes a value, for instance, diamond. It'll race over to this little table, which will tell it to look at. It goes down the first uh, column, and if it's looking for words, it needs to find diamond. When it does, it'll jump over to the second column. It'll grab that rate and bring it back into the cell. So let's see how to do this. Look up. I'm going to click on one cell to my left. Uh, two cells, one, two cells to my left, not locked. Comma, the table array, it's got to be this whole table here. The words are in the first column, the values we want to return are in column two. Notice it says F14 to G16, but F is one column, G is two column for the purpose of the VLOOKUP. I'm going to have to hit my F4 key to lock those dollar signs because that table needs to be locked as we copy the formula down. Now we go comma to get to the next argument. It's just, hey, what column index? Column 1, column 2. So we put a 2 because 2 is uh, where the percents are. Now we've got to do a comma, and we have to use the final argument. And the other examples we've done, we didn't because we were using numbers. But here we have an exact match. And if I could scoot this little screen over here, you could see that it's, we have to say true for approximate value, which is good for numbers, or exact match, which is good for product numbers or words. Now, it says false, so you don't need to put false. You put a 0, and it's much shorter, and it does the same thing because false is 0. I'm going to close parentheses. Now, I'm going to scoot this back over here. I'm going to use Control-Enter. Let's try that again. Control and then tap Enter to put that formula in the cell, and then copy it down. I'm going to double click that and copy it down. Oops, what happened there? Hey, look, that's formatting. We can already see it got it right because uh, for gold, we need 20%. Well, we know that um, if 20% uh, percent is formatted as currency, then it shows us 20 cents. I can even prove it here. If we come down here and hold Control Shift 4, Control Shift 4, uh, it adds currency. I'm going to Control Z. Well, so far, we got the right commission. Uh, amount, the rate, but that's not really what we want. I'm going to click in the first cell and hit F2. We need now multiply the result of the VLOOKUP times uh, the sales, which are one cell to my left. Now I can control enter and click and drag it down, and we got what we want. Commissions, we got a commission rate using VLOOKUP based on a word. We multiply the, the result of the VLOOKUP. Uh, by this and got our commission rates. Now, here's what you never want to do, and here's what <laughs> you will not believe how many spreadsheets um, try to do this exact thing. That formula uh, just takes a lot more time, and the VLOOKUP is designed for this situation to do exactly the same thing as this IF formula, but much faster. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.